Got it here, five more interesting knives. Spider Core, Benchmade, Zero Talents, Alpha Hunter, Custom Knives, and Med 4. So let's check them out. We'll start with this one. This is the first time I have uh, seen this brand, Alpha Hunter Custom Knives. This is $1,100 knife. Check this out, old titanium. It is very lightweight for that piece of brick of metal. So yeah, boom. Do you see how it flies out? It's a complete tank overbuilt. I like the blade. So yeah, very sharp. To close it, you just flawless, smooth, boom. Look at that. It just locks in and open and close so well. Love that knife. Thought it would be a nice addition to my collection. There you go. There's a really thick clip. I really like this holder as well. You can actually kind of play with it, talk about it, lay it down, and whenever you want to put it away, let me show you the logo real quick. Alpha Hunter. Never heard of them, just went to a knife and found it for sale for $1100. Boom. Made in America. You want to put it away? You got it. Next, I'll show you a bunch of Medford knives. I'm sure I messed up the pronunciation. This one is uh, assisted. Whatever, automatic. This is much smaller one. Uh, there is a safety. So, safety off. There is a gold button. You can do the blue one. Boom. It has pretty nice recoil. A really thick handle. For my big hands, works really well. So this is KTS. That's what you guys can see, what it looks like in a hand. And to fold it, press the button, safety. Has pretty nice recoil, but not super bad. You see? It flickers a little bit, but I can still hold it comfortably with two fingers. Really nice. There you go, made for assisted. For those who don't know they make them, they do. Very nice. This is a Metfer knife. All that information about it. Then ZT, Zero Tolerance. This one is um, ZT Original CF20CV SV. So that's information on the box. Zero Tolerance boxes and packaging. Not very impressive, but that's alright. What's so unique about this knife? It has little bridge, or whatever you want to call it. You see? It opens and there's a bridge. Very interesting design. Frame lock, is that what it's called? You see, it, whenever we close it, there's a little bridge hanging off. And it's gonna lock in, in here. And kinda rest up here. Pretty interesting. Very nice. One more time. So smooth. Did you see it? Did it move a little bit? No. But it kind of stops over here. It hits it and locks in there. Look at that design. So nice. Carbon fiber. Is that what it's called? There's more information on the knife. Very comfortable knife. Very, very lightweight. So I can't even feel it in my hand. It's so light. That's so cool. There you go. Zero tolerance. Then we have spider core. What this one is all about. People love their spider cores. Oh, let me tell you information about it. This is Amelgon pin. This spider core is pretty interesting. As you can see, very big. Fits my hand. My hands make it look smaller, but this is a really, really big knife. Uh, that's what I like for my big hands. Check this out. So yeah, uh, the way to close it, it's in the back right here, but whenever you try to close it and don't move your finger, it will stop it. So I guess that's kind of a, like a stopper. Uh, then you see it will hit your finger and then it opens. Also you can open it this way, also you can flick it like that. You could close it quickly, but you gotta move your finger really quick as you can see like that. And if I don't, you see it bounce back off of my finger. But you can do it slowly so it doesn't hit your finger. It's very smooth, but it's such a big knife, 
you have to really pull hard for it to close. Love it, check this out. It just drops. And the last one, Benchmade Meditator Everyday Carry Tactical Auto Open. So let's see what it's about. So very small knife. And there is a safety and a button. Ugh, that blade is a little bit ugly. I guess more like traditional. Let me know in comments below what do you think. The safety works. But still, very interesting knife. Have a really strong spring. Look at that recoil. Do you see it? I really have to hold it. And to close it, just press the button. Boom. Safety. Nice and interesting. Let me know in comments below which knife is your favorite. This one is a tank for sure. Would you carry this every day? You know what, for its size, I would think it would be a lot heavier, but it's not super heavier than this stuff. But this stuff is like feather light. I think the lightest is this one right here. 